So the next uh, pose that I'll show you some assist for is Uttanasana, or standing forward fold. So uh, if you can, from standing, just start to fold towards the ground, bearing in mind, uh, I don't want you to overstretch your hamstrings or strain your hamstrings. So for Carissa, like with most people, um, her hands are not quite at the ground. So I'm gonna offer her some props. So you can take your hands to blocks, and then you can also bend your knees a little bit, slackening the hamstrings. You can also raise the blocks higher if you want in even more, even more support. You know, play with it, see what suits you. And then um, a really nice kind of gentle assist for this is to take one hand towards the pelvis, and then one hand is gonna slide down the back towards the neck, and then encourage the neck to relax. So. I'm not pushing her deeper into the forward fold. Or I'm, I'm not trying to do that. I'm just kind of encouraging this downward flow of energy into the neck and then have, and then saying, hey neck, relax. And then giving a nice squeeze, like a puppy or a cat, or like, like a mama dog holding the scruff of her puppy's neck. Lovingly. Lovingly, yes. <laughs> so that's that. Um, and then you can say if you're okay staying for a moment longer. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, if her legs were straight, there would be a second assist I could do. And that would be um, to push my hand like pretty straight down into um, her sacrum. I would not do that with Carissa just because her hips are, are kind of pivoted back a little bit. But if she were deeper in the forward fold, I might be able to take my hand right here and press down. And actually, do you want to try that on me? Sure. So... I would be, not to show up, but I got some pretty flexible hamstrings. So I would be folding. And then right in this kind of spot here, you can take the heel of your hand and just press straight down. Mm, yes, great. How does that feel? Feels great. <laughs> so it's just kind of an encouraging of a downward energy into the heels. And again, that is only if a student is deep in the forward fold and if their legs are straight. Otherwise, <laughs> if, try it one more time. If my knees were bent and she did that, I would just go, wait, you want me to squat? And that's not very helpful. So, um, yes. So if their legs are straight and they're deep in the forward fold, you can just do a downward press. Uh, otherwise, that gliding the hand down, puppy scruff neck <laughs> assist could be delightful.